what is a legal scam that is still happening in 2022. At the time of recording, this has only been up for about 12 hours, but we've got well over 20,000 comments already. So let's dive right into it. Welcome back to the Monday show of Redditainment with today's post in the Ask Reddit subreddit. What is a legal scam that is still happening in 2022? This should be interesting. First comment by East Turbani says printing fee for digital tickets. It's got well over 40,000 upvotes and I can't wrap my head around how that makes any sort of sense to charge a printing fee for a digital ticket when the customer is the one printing the ticket. <laughs> like someone says, especially when you have to print them at home with your own printer, paper and ink. That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. It's like McDonald's charging you a drive through fee. Wait, what? Moving on. Someone says, look op, if you want to get in on some legal scam, you have to do your own research. That's why I recommend you buy my book. What you can do to legally become rich in 12 easy lessons. Just 24 easy payments of $199.99 and you will have the secrets to being a millionaire unveiled right before your eyes. I'm sold. Great pitch. That's got to be one hell of a book for $200 a month going on for two years. Another commenter says, private prisons. You're telling me that they charge the government for the beds and the taxpayer still got to foot the bill if those beds are empty so the company running it doesn't lose money? You. Honestly, I don't know enough about that. I think it works a little different up in Canada where I am, but from what I've heard about private prisons, it absolutely sounds like a legal scam. And here's the obligatory comment that says MLMs. Yes, I still can't believe how many of those are still around. If you are part of an MLM, please do share in the comments how you think it is not a scam and in fact a legitimate business. But from what I've seen, from the earning disclosure statements I've seen, from MLMs others have tried to recruit me for, there's just no way I'm convinced that those are anything but, as this post says, a legal scam. I'm not saying you can't make it, obviously there are people that are super successful with it, but the opportunities that are presented or perceived opportunities, especially for anybody getting in at the lower levels, is just not realistic, especially when you look at their earnings disclosure, you can see that majority of the members typically make close to nothing. Next comment says, paying service charges. I don't mind paying a $10 delivery fee, but will not pay a 99 cent service charge. <laughs> I mean, it kind of makes sense. You're paying for the delivery. You're actually getting something out of it. I'm not too sure what kind of service charges this post refers to, but even if you take bank charges, for example, if you have a monthly service fee for them to look after your money, reinvest it and make a return on it, uh, that just doesn't make any sense. Reading through the comments, it sounds like he might be talking about a service charge on the delivery apps. In which case, I mean, if there's a delivery fee, why would there be a separate service charge? Another comment here says, civil forfeiture. You're going to tell me that a cop thinks that my property might be used for illegal activity and that cop is going to steal it from me and pad their department's bottom line? What the actual F? Again, this is something I have no experience with, but can you imagine if you're involved in a case like this and a cop just takes your stuff away because they assume that it might be part of some illegal activity and that's not actually the case, but now you're having to prove that, I guess, in court. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but they can just take your stuff away. Somebody follows up saying, enough people don't know about this. Unless you're one of the victims it happens to, then you're like, WTF, the police just robbed me. If anybody here has any experience with something like this, please leave a comment down below. We'd love to hear the story behind it. Obviously, these comments are filled with things that people think are unjust or plain scams, but they are legal. If you'd like to check out some more, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Let's do one last comment for today and wrap up the show. This user says, cable company making you rent a router for $10 a month should be illegal. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. If you actually look at the price of a router and compare that to a $10 a month fee 
over the term of let's say a two-year contract on top of that most times the routers you get were used before they're not necessarily brand new they get used over and over and over plus you're already paying a fee every month just to have their service i mean just build it into your fee why you got to have a separate router charge but that's enough ranting for today hope you enjoyed this episode for today if you did leave a like subscribe so you don't miss the next episode thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video